Nvidia. What the fuck? So I ever seen the We're back again. Oh my God. What's going on? <laughs> JB is already here. JB is here. Fallon, you remember JB? JB Fallon. Hello, Good hello. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you, JB. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. Can I Question mark. Yeah. <laughs> Good to I read your name on a screen. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> we wouldn't keep JB waiting any longer. There's times where he's here. 20 minutes before we're here, just like, what the fuck are they? Amazing. He's I love, done I that love a that. few times. Dedication. Yeah. I'll come Dedication. into the room and start getting stuff ready, and I'm like, man, JB's been here for a minute. What is he? <laughs> 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 He's just like, ah, <laughs> First in yeah. line. Best First seat in the line, best. suckers. <laughs> <laughs> It's Wednesday. It's Bunker Day, and we are here with Fallon Bowman. God damn it! And Phoebe yeah. Assault. What are you gonna say? Fuck! I'm excited. God damn it! Yeah, word. Yeah. <laughs> She's not a crook. It's fine. It's definitely, <laughs> definitely not. Um, the att the attack of the frogs. A friend of mine had never heard my like the name before. Like he <laughs> like because I had already ended Amphibious Assault. Like I kind of put the program program what band <laughs> the project <laughs> the <musical>. on hold <laughs> put the program on hold uh for a while and i had met him like way after and he's just like first of all amphibious assault like but what kind of amphibian are we talking about here and i'm like <laughs> That's a very good question. I don't know. <laughs> she just I never really one. thought about it. I never thought about it. Um I probably would say a salamander because they're cute. Yep. Um, but he's just like I'm. I'm all about the the you know psychedelic frog attack. You know, somebody licks it, and that's oh, they're done. That's it. That's it. Oh, <laughs> I was yeah. like, I've never thought about it though, honestly, because you know, because that's basically what it means, right? It's like, yeah. I mean, was... not where the the term originates from, of course, yeah. but uh, still amphibious. So you know, amphibious when you say well. yeah, okay, when I see salamanders, I think. Samurai salamanders now. Hmm. hmm. Pourquoi? <laughs> Pourquoi? You know, <laughs> salamander with a fucking ten body blade in their hand, just ready for assaulting. Imagine that. Yeah. Because they're so much, cute. Huh? <laughs> Should be merch. merch they're like very a, evil. They're minded. unassuming. Like you wouldn't think. For sure. That this little, like they are, just come. Yeah, they like come. Know. Like doing their little thing and get up to you and be like, Fuck! and you're going, oh, kind of like an idea. <laughs> they're That's actually special. super cute though, but yeah. they're kind of they can be deadly <laughs> if, if you lick them or something. <laughs> they, have, like, <laughs> they have LSD on their back or something. I heard. Yeah, <laughs> there's yeah LSD. Salamanders do. I swear to you, I was, I, of course, after him and I had this conversation, I'm like, now I'm curious. <laughs> like, <laughs> Google, like, Google. Google, tell me everything about salamanders. I know that they can grow things back after it's been chopped yeah. up. Yes, I knew that's that. True. Um, but there are some uh, ones with, like, it, like, it, yeah, like hallucinogenic, like, like there are frogs, the same, but they're fucking deadly. <gasps> Like you do that and then you you're high and then you die. <laughs> That's insane. Huh. Um hold on. Um yeah, there's it's here somewhere. Wiki, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the up, skin Jay? of Good some morning, species Jay. contains hey. the powerful poison tetrodotoxin. They tend to be slow moving and bright, and they can change some of them can change color. Mm. Like, uh, like chameleons, chameleons can do the same, right? 
Yeah. So they're and they'll let they'll let a predator know, like, hey, if you come any closer, I'll turn red, bro. Dude, dude. <laughs> when I get red, that's it. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> I heard done, like, the more colorful the fucking frog or salamander or anything like that, it's like the more poisonous they are or something. I think that's that true. true. That's yeah. Accurate. Yeah. Because um, if they're not some, like, if they can't blend in, then they have that uh, to yo, protect them. You don't want none either of this shit. either be offensive tasting yeah. or toxic. So if somebody, something bites into it, it's like, and then it will let go. Or it's like, oh, this is, ta and then you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that was really it's like, <laughs> like, ooh, that's not so bad. Look at all the pretty colors. Yeah, but yeah, who's this? like, oh, look at the red one. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> red one? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how did we get on this topic? I don't even know. <laughs> Amphibious <laughs> assault. The Amphibious <laughs> assault. The salamander assault. Yes. That's salamander that's assault. I, I immediately thought like the amphibious assault vehicles. Yeah, that, me too. But, yeah, yes. that was. And that's exactly what I. That's what I. <laughs> well, made I guess. It after, right? I'm I like, guess okay. you would know. Yeah. Um, you know, I was. <laughs> okay, when I tell the story, people are like, "Oh, really? That's interesting." Uh, <laughs> In the early 2000s, I was really, really obsessed with the Marine Corps, the United nice. States Marine Corps. I wanted to Not join. the Canadian Marine Corps. No, we don't have one in the, in Canada. No. That's right. And so <laughs> I went to visit a friend of mine in the U.S. And I went to like the, like the recruiting thing and I was asking them questions. They're like, Canadians can't join the <laughs> Marine Corps. What are you doing here? I'm like, yeah, but I... Give me the brochures, bud. Give me all the brochures. Like, I want to do it anyway. <laughs> you got pencils? I need pencils. You have pencils? <laughs> Just give me the cool stuff and I'll think about it. Maybe I'll become a citizen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, I was reading this book about, it was a Tom Clancy book, of course. Of course. And <laughs> yeah, he was talking about it. It salt vehicles. I'm like, man, that would make a badass band name. <laughs> Perfect. There it is. It works. Fucking so. Fallon Bowman in the Marine Corps. Get in the car, Bowman. <laughs> That's how they talk to you, too. Bowman. Bowman. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is Bowman. Yeah, basically. Uh, and I, I was, like, like doing, like, a, a training thing, too, where I was trying to, like, make it so that I could go underwater for a long time. It's a whole weird process part of my life that I don't All know right. what's going so on. So my question is, how long did you make it? Not very long. long. <laughs> She's like, I'm lung... good at that part. Yeah, I was like, oh, my lung capacity sucks. <laughs> I'll never be a Marine. I could never be like, you know, um, Charlie Sheen, you know, in Apocalypse it's Now. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I could never do it. It would be just bad. Just bad. That's amazing. No. That's I, mean, I don't I, know. <laughs> like I'm, I'm like short distance runner, like short distance swimmer. If you make me do anything short. more than like 200 meters, I'm just like. <gasps> so I would yeah. probably be like not underwater would not be good for me either. I would not be able to do it. But I wanted to do also like try like Iron Man's and stuff. Like I was really like, super super into it, and I was doing relatively well. The swimming aspect though. I also don't like big, wide open spaces. Like, yeah. The like oceans. <laughs> well, the expanse of the ocean is terrifying to me. I like, that all, oh, oh, like, no. It's, uh, yeah. No, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Semper Fi, a good day to you, sir. <laughs> it's no, JB. It's actually Semper Fi or take off, eh? That's it. Yeah. Take off your hoser. Take off your hoser. <laughs> yeah. It's very true. Fucking Jay from Jay down there, SLE Music, he was in the goddamn British Army driving tanks and shit. He's fucking badass. You're my goddamn nice. hero, Jay. See, I you were in, it was Bosnia. Over in Bosnia. Oh, Remember okay. Bosnia? That's yeah. no shit. That's fucking cool. There's no, there's no fucking around there. Nope. Um, yeah. That's, that's all that's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> I like that. Speaking of bullshit, this album, man, like what the fuck? Oh, How I tell <laughs> you, it's like it's awesome. Thank you. It's Thank you. so fucking it. absolutely. Good. Thank you for 
listening to it. Okay. Both of you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I haven't stopped listening to it since you well, sent me the private yeah. link. And I was like, oh, look at this. Oh, uh, no one else has heard that. No. It's, it's, it's a very, secret. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a weird um, feeling because with my previous two releases, I would never have sent it to you ever. No. I would never have sent it to any. I'm just like, I just want to keep it all to myself and no one can hear it. No. <laughs> I had to give it to other people to do that because I just felt very, um, like I checked my ego too much Shut the door, if that makes sense. Or I was just mm -hmm. like, oh, I, oops, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> want any, I don't want anyone to hear it because I'm afraid. I'm mm -hmm. afraid, essentially. <sighs> now maybe it's just I'm older, wiser. I'm an aged cheese. <laughs> um, I just, <laughs> I don't give a fuck anymore. And I yep. will literally send it to anybody. And I'm like, listen to it, okay? If you don't just like it, check it out. the I worst know. that can happen is they don't even listen or they mm. delete the email, whatever. No fucking sweat off my back. Right. It's fine. Um, yeah. And if I can get it into the ear hole of one person, forcefully <laughs> that that's a win for me so i've just kind of changed my mindset i think a little bit but i'm i'm just happy that anybody uh took the time to listen to like three seconds of it so jesus christ i don't think you can listen to just three seconds of it like right from the get-go with a gridlocked heart like we've been playing that one on sle radio or at least he's spinning right there for you know <laughs> since you since you let us and uh we'll continue to that's that's going to be on regular rotation, of course. Jay has it on regular rotation, and awesome. it's a good fucking tune, man. Like it's all the, and that's just the first song. And then, but like, how much fun was electro punk to record? Yeah. Oh yeah. Or how hard um, was it to record? <laughs> it was very difficult, but that yeah. is only like two takes. I couldn't believe that just... I, my voice actually held up for the entire time. And I told um, the engineer, like, just hit record, and we're just going to go for it. Um, mm -hmm because I don't know what's going to happen with my voice. I don't do that kind of yelling yeah. on a daily basis, first no of all. Shit. Um, but even in Kitty, I didn't, like I did that one song, which was more of a growl. Yeah. This is a yell. A <laughs> that one yell. song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to give it a try. I'm like, hit record. We'll see what happens. And she, once we ended the song, she goes, wow. <laughs> It's just like I didn't did not expect that to come out of your body because <laughs> it was the second song I ever did. Well, no, it was the first song. She just met me, and really? that was yeah, that was the first one. She was that was like, your okay. introduction. <laughs> Are all the songs gonna sound like that? I'm like, no. <laughs> no, just get that one out of the way. Just get that one out of the way. Well, and it makes sense. That's probably the hardest one to, like you said, you don't do that every fucking day. No, but, Jesus. No doing that live is going to be so much fun. I can't even wait. I, I can't like, I've been lamenting lately about how much I miss going to shows, but then mm -hmm. I feel like once all of this bullshit is over, the mm -hmm. live music scene is going to be bananas. Yeah. Like it's just, we're all going to be like going and, and, you know, going to Everywhere. shows and doing all this. It's going to be a magical time to, mm -hmm. yep. uh, to go see bands. Perfect. Yeah. Yes, especially especially the indie scene is going to just be fucking crazy. Oh yeah, it's going to be nuts. Yeah. You think about all the bands you've heard during lockdown and everything like that, just waiting for their yeah. fucking chance to get up there and do their thing. Sure. Oh yeah. And they have yeah, all the time to like hone a really good right. show. And I mean, yeah. I think a lot of bands have been kind of court like bubbling together so yep. they can keep on doing that. Whereas it's mm -hmm. just me. Yeah, I'm gonna so. have to find somebody to go on the road with me, probably yeah. one or two other people. Mm -hmm. But you know, get to rehearse a lot and and all this stuff. It's just gonna be oh my god, it's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna remind me, I think, a little bit of the when I was a like a teenager going to shows and like it yeah. was bands that you knew, people that you knew, or you know, you're really supporting the indie scene as much as possible. I think that's gonna be magic. It's gonna be really yeah. fun. Yeah, I'm gonna live at music videos on this. Yeah, Justin, fuck yeah, might Justin. as well. Justin's one hell of Ryan, a blues singer. He's awesome. Ryan says yeah. the indie scene is gonna break the doors down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go, Fallon. You are an amazing talent. 
thank you very much today. That's stop awesome. it in before. Stop it in before he gets busted at work. Yeah, get back to work, God damn it! I'm telling you. <laughs> You're supposed to be working. So you got two hours left on your shift, you fucking sneak. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, though. <laughs> we love you, but we're gonna tell your boss. No, we just we wouldn't do that to you. That's he that. he's, he's got a he's got a great band from Ontario called Twelve Years Today, and they actually had the same engineer that you did master their nice. album so that's a small fucking world that's Holy hilarious shit, that's hilarious like yeah. Mariana he told me that he's like i just found this out i was like what Amazing. the fuck yeah, he's crazy. rebelling yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good for you yeah, Spread right. the system yeah and that like recording the the rest of the songs i think um for a while we had it so that I did one song a, a day. Mm -hmm. So, but the, over like three months because we kept getting locked down and locked mm -hmm. down and locked down. So I was just like, okay, yeah. this day we're going to do this song. And so one of them was electropunk. One of them was gridlocked, etc. And then when we got to the very end, uh, we started doing two songs. Cause I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to make my deadline now because gotta get this out, yeah. I got to get yeah. this out. And it's, it's not going to, anyway. Um, but it was, I'm also been very scared because of the fact I told you that I was having like, like non COVID related breathing issues. Yeah. So apparently, <laughs> and they had to give me this puffer and it's changed my voice. Like, like completely in some, in some ways in a, in the better way. Um, and, and others, not so much, maybe it really helped with this, with yelling. Cause I had no problem getting this ah sound because it's like very like i've been smoking for eight years like <laughs> really, uh, <clears throat> yeah and i am always feeling like there's just so much going on in there but anyways uh i was really worried that the the singing was going to be kind of but it turned out good so. it turned out very good ryan we definitely don't mind you being here supporting we love it you heard Nick's gonna go yeah missed. ryan's been hanging out like every show we do Love it. Good for you, sir. Nick's going to go bankrupt buying concert tickets. That's probably the same here. <laughs> Nick, we have questions about breeding dogs. Yeah. <laughs> we do. Oh, look at I that. I want to know, <laughs> have you ever bred a shepherd and a Bichon? Could you? Would you? What would that look like? The logistics. How how do you get like the little dog big dog breeding? Because you got to do the little dog as the male. So how does that work, Nick? You know you know all this stuff. So enlighten us. Do you have to like? Hold we gotta. <laughs> you, Is just, it? Can you imagine like? <laughs> <laughs> I would not be the person. Like, can you imagine how much would it? How much money would it take? <laughs> Would you have to be getting off of this <laughs> to be? <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm saying. Fucking step ladder. <laughs> How much money would they have to be paying you if you had to be the person that held the little dog? <laughs> like, how much are we getting for these puppies? Oh, yeah, three thousand dollars a piece. Okay, yeah, no I'll, I'll hold the little guy. I'll hold you. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like there's a pedestal involved. For sure. Like there has to be. There's yeah. no way there's not. Yeah, some sort of platform is happening yeah. there. It's yeah. just a fucking like a like a automatic one, just <laughs> like a lift, so high. like a high, like a lower. Car lift. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that? Like a oh, yeah, like a what what is done? He backs out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god stool um, <laughs> yeah, right. Jesus that's funny that's hilarious Ooh. that'd be interesting yeah. oh lord oh look lord what we, look what we started tonight yeah here we go well, i mean <clears throat> we were inquiring minds want to know i just had questions you know, i don't think you'll find it on wikipedia i wanted to go right to the source <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should forklift and glory. <laughs> <laughs> but it isn't a forklift. 
forklift because a forklift has the little forks in the front. You need yeah, to just a rising like uh, platform. Yeah. yeah. Just put a piece of plywood over top, but then you're good. Like one of those things, like when you see the artists that like come up through the bottom of the stage. <laughs> yes. That's what you need. Exactly. <laughs> There. See, I thank you, that. Nick. You're right. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. It has to be the small, like the male would have to be the smaller one. But yeah. how how do you do that? That's what we want to know. <laughs> Get into the sloppy details. <laughs> <laughs> we need specifics. We need all the specifics. Like, just, is know. there? Yeah. I. Like every week, I'm like, I don't want to Google that. And then I end up Googling it. And you do end up Googling it. Just yeah, I end up. It. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the same as like people. I think it's, it's had seen it on, on like YouTube or something. <laughs> like, it's, I don't know what Google, oh, but apparently you can look it up. What Google has on you, there's like a way to look it up. But, anyways. Oh, oh, oh no, shows, I don't. I don't yeah. want to know. <laughs> I like, oh, do I want to know? Are inventive. <laughs> but it had like the, the thumbnail of how they do it with horses of different size. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, why is Google like YouTube showing me that? I I don't know. I keep hitting that. The... Um. I don't. I, don't I never googled anything about <laughs> horse and <That's>... insemination. <laughs> <laughs> The female lays. See, that would make it easier. Oh, could you just imagine if you had like the bit like a Great Dane and the Chihuahua was just like I don't know why back so there funny. and the dog just gets up and walks off and it's carrying the little Chihuahua on its back. I don't know why that makes that. It's so sweet. It's very tender. <laughs> Well, because you have to picture like a lady in the tramp moment, and then they go on to do their <laughs> tails intertwine. Yeah. yeah, it's oh a very they've it's it's love making. It's not it's, just yeah. It's, this they is have a relationship. They're gonna made. get a mortgage later. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Terrible. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. everyone, and also everyone of you are welcome right now for this conversation. I googled horse insemination at dinner one time, and I lost my appetite. <laughs> you know, uh, what was that movie? Oh, it was Van Wilder. Yeah, mm -hmm. Van Wilder. watch that movie where yeah. they give the the the, cho the Claire's the bulldog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Never again. Every anytime I see a Claire's, I think of that movie, and I'm like, nope, can't do it. Sorry. <laughs> It was so fucking gross that I, <laughs> I, like, I, and I mean, I used to, I've seen all of the jackasses and didn't have a problem with that. But for whatever mm, reason, that, was that scene was just, <laughs> no. That's disgusting. <laughs> Write that down. Write that down. It, <laughs> and she is not kidding. Like the things that she tells me about like dog insemination, I'm just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's Horror a thing. Stories horror stories like there's there's a lot of i i don't even want to think i don't even want to think about some of the stuff that nicole has told me no. yeah no you can't super i mean yeah it, it's one of those <laughs> <laughs> guys if you have not seen it anybody that's in chat you've never seen van wilder I would you watch have to. just for that scene alone because you're just, it's so well done and so bad at the same time. Uh, right. You can't unsee it. It's you can't. Disgusting. That's one of those, like, I forget about that movie a lot. And as soon as somebody mentions it, like, that's, that's the, the first, first thing, thing that I think of is just, oh, no. <laughs> Eating it, it's just like, no. Uh, uh, uh. You know what movie I also um, watched recently with Ryan Reynolds that I haven't seen since it came out? And it was, you ever seen the movie Waiting? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I was like, shit, this this is a really raunchy movie. I don't remember that it was so raunchy. <laughs> what? <laughs> like it's it's like you know, pre super bad too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Um because that was yeah, that was him, and then like Dane Cook was in there and all those guys. That yeah, was, he played the cook, and then there yeah. was <laughs> Dane Cook played the cook. <laughs> uh, and then the guy, for, 
Oh my god. This is the guy from no, he's not the guy from Scarface. He's the guy from Carlito's Way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That guy that's in every movie that yeah, he's just like in all cool. the movies. I don't know his fucking name, but it's like yeah, he's in this, but, that guy. Oh yeah. who Oh my gosh. Justin Long is in it. Anna yeah. Ferris is in it. Like, oh, and fucking guy from Freaks and Geeks. I was like, what? <laughs> oh my God, it's a guy from Freaks and Geeks, but grown what up. The fuck is what is that? Dude? I've got to, I have to find the guy's name that's in all. Fuck. I got to find it. Fuck is that that one I'll look for. Yeah. <laughs> Luis Guzman. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Justin Luis Guzman. There you go. Yeah. Boy, Justin. Well done. You go. Fucking, oh, you watched Waiting last week, you cheater. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in I don't know how long, but yeah, well, it's so good. Like I said, those like those are the kind of movies I like to watch. Like we were talking the other night, he's like, You've never seen Die Hard and you've never seen this and you've never seen that. And I'm like, I would rather watch like Stuff like Van Wilder and waiting and oh, mall rats and stuff like that. Like that's more my thing. It's it's, it's so fun. funny how like um I talk about this in my Discord a lot too. <laughs> people that are in there, like the, a lot of them are super into like horror movies, and I don't like horror movies. I just some of them I find are just okay. <laughs> Wait, let me <laughs> let me let me take that back for a second. The ones that are purposefully bad and funny, like they're they're trying to make yeah, they're you know, camping, kind of, right? kind of yeah. yeah. Those ones I don't mind. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can get behind. Yeah, that. like I just saw Army of Darkness for the first time last year. Oh yeah, that's a and great movie. I thought it was hilarious. There you go, like, Jay. Easy, great. Jay. <laughs> yeah, or even Evil Evil Dead. I had seen it before and didn't. I hated it when I first saw it as a teenager, and then I saw it again. And I'm like, okay, okay, that's okay. I like this. But yeah, and then they'll talk about other ones where it's like, oh, this, this you know, this chick has got to get her feet cut off and then yeah. shoves it in her mouth or whatever. I'm like, well, why did you want to watch that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like that. See, like I am, I I don't like, hey, I don't like the gory, like nasty, like you know, like the Final Destination type stuff. Like, no thanks. I don't want to watch your head split in half and your brain go fly. Like, I don't want to see all of that. But like true crime, I'll watch that all day and you can show me whatever you want. And I'm like, yeah, that's so cool. Oh, no. I've been sure the they actually did that. Yeah. It's like, oh, my gosh, there's blood everywhere. Is that like, actual crime scene footage? <laughs> you know what's it's funny? It's not funny, but it is funny that um, like I know so many women that are like into true crime hardcore yep. like they'll be like oh yeah did you see that one yeah her head got that's off. that's her name is sarah and she's right there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can it right here but it's like, if it's like, a real thing like a real photo or whatever i'm like that's not real i can't be real is that real exactly what was the one that we watched mastermind uh, evil genius evil genius <sighs> it's on netflix did you watch like, that Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's oh, crazy. I went to, I was up visiting my son and he was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, let's just find something. You know, we ordered pizza and we were like, let's just find something on Netflix and we'll just hang out. <laughs> and so we're sitting there and I was like, you want to check this one out? And we were kind of reading about it. And he was like, yeah, why not? And he had his girlfriend over. And we're all sitting there like watching this deal together. And the dude just like, when they showed him blow up, I was like, <gasps> like I sat there for like five minutes. I was like, did that I couldn't really they showed that? Yeah, that was right? fucked. I was like, did that really just happen? And yeah. like my son sitting over there and he's like, <laughs> and his girlfriend was like, This is awesome. And I'm yeah. over here like, and then like they showed the other angle, and you see oh, that little yeah. piece of metal that came flying and just lands in front of the camera. I was like, Holy shit. I think I mean they did that obviously for the the, sh <laughs> the shock. It's like whole oh, that freaking happened and yeah you know um I, I can remember so many instances where i mean i had seen that actually done on forensic files before okay forensic files or something like that it had already mm -hmm. so i already knew about the case before mm -hmm. seeing that but they did an excellent job like it was so well done um, yeah so i can watch those no problem but when you exactly. do things with animals with cats like don't yeah. fuck with cats can't watch that no yeah. I don't want to see if I can, I don't want to see that. 
don't like, know. Everybody told me about that. Like I was gonna. Everyone's like, "Oh, you got to watch it. You got to watch it." And then somebody told me what happens, and I was like, "No, mm -mm. no." Mm -mm. Yeah, I was like, no, I, I'm going to skip on that one, but I'll watch like, you know, and we, you know, and Do you we have a person being and, dismembered because I'll watch that. <laughs> exactly. Like, uh, and I, as soon as the dude blew up, I, I texted Joe and I was like, dude, you got to watch this. Yeah, I get a message like, okay, I'm watching the most fucked up documentary right now. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> What's yeah, happening? I was like, dude, you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. Dude blows up. You gotta watch it. I'm like, I'll oh, get fucking right on that. Like, <laughs> I did. It like, was good. The next episode, I was like, there's a dead body in the freezer, dude. Catch up. Put it on now, now, now. Um, I watched it all. I watched it right even, through. Even uh, the uh, Unsolved Mysteries, the new yeah. one. Okay. I, yeah. I was surprised that they even showed one of the one of the stories. They showed like half of one of the corpses the, like a dead body oh, <laughs> you can see up to about here and i'm like i'm not laughing at that sorry guys uh, like, huh? mm. uh, wow and a lot of people were commenting like i'm very surprised that you would actually show her face right half of her face at least you can't see her eyes but yeah. um and she also died from a gunshot wound so it's like oh why oh. would you even show that that's not i don't know mm. But still, I I'm like, never... please, what? Yeah. What is that? No. <laughs> what is that? Her head? That's crazy. Just so we all know, um, Nick just sent me some pictures of how the big dog, little dog thing works. <laughs> so, so that's it, what it, this it, is about. The lay down. I'm pretty sure it's got to be the lay down. Uh, I'll send them to you guys here in a little bit. <laughs> Great. Because no. I don't know that we want that one. I'm I good. mean, I could I'm I could good. save them and put them on the screen. No, but... let's not. <laughs> well, last night we had the action pose funeral pictures, and oh, that was yeah. fucked up. I didn't think that would ever happen in my there. goddamn life. Did Have you, you heard that? about that? You can be posed in an action like, pose action. for your funeral. S sorry, nowadays? Yeah. Right now? Like not here, in, like, in the Victorian period where they used to No, do that? like yeah, no, like now. Modern like check time. this out. Check this oh, out. Check this out. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? <laughs> right? Why wouldn't Here's, you? Look at this one's like, kind of weird. Like that one's a little creepy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Does yeah. it, it, does, it looks like a. Sure. It's just chilling. Think about it. Think about it though. If you're having like, this is your, you're no longer in yeah. your body. Right. Yeah. Right. Your body is no longer. <gasps> oh, I have a book about this. Oh, <laughs> no, look, this is this is my favorite one. This. No, no. <laughs> I um, love this one. About my point, which is oh my god, what is it? It's by Mary Beard. No, not Mary Beard. Anyway, it's it's the story of cadavers. Mm. And what like from different um viewpoints so for example what happens when your body goes through the whole process after mm -hmm. you know you've passed away and you go to the funeral home and what happens then and, and goes through the whole process of what actually happens when you die and the ownership that you no longer have as you me fallon it doesn't exist anymore it's just the uh, decaying whatever no. um and then also like cadavers that are sent to like the body farm which is i think it's in tennessee what the body <laughs> farm the body farm you know what the body farm is no oh my god okay <laughs> body farm is where like uh forensic scientists are are trained essentially they'll put cadavers all over this area and that's how they're trained to find from an ent entomological point of view like how bugs Eat yeah, things bodies and then we'll find and out, like the rate of decomposition and all that and stuff. Yeah, and they talk about they have a whole. She has a whole chapter on the body farm. It's a fab, a really, really. I mean, it's it's actually treats treats a very sensitive subject for a lot of people mm -hmm. uh, in a very respectful way, but also wow. it's funny when you read it because she's just like, "What about the people that sell their bodies to science?" Yeah, like, do they go to the fucking to farm? Them? to your body after that like what do they do with it and they he goes to the she, she goes to this where they basically uses crash test dummies and how 
you know, impacts happen. <laughs> what, what happens to your body when you I got to read know? this? Like, I have to read this now. Yeah, it's really, really good. Oh, um, what is this book? I'm putting this okay, in my I'll, notes. Sorry, I'll try and find it. It's, um, the, I think it's called The Life of Cadavers. Um, fuck. I wish Tony Grimes was here. We did oh, not yeah. take that into account that we could be crash test oh, dummies, bro. Come on. <laughs> Stiff by Mary Roach. Oh, okay. Hi, it's Amazon. The curious lives of human cadavers. But yeah. Stiff. See, I like uh, that. That's a twofold yeah. thing. That's clever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like I said, it's it can be a pretty touchy subject for some people because they attach so much meaning to your your, your body. physical you're self. No longer, yeah, you're no longer there. You know, I know mean, this is kind of heavy. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway. Jay says road trip. <laughs> road trip to the body trip, farm. Like, I'd what? go to go to the body farm. To the body farm. <laughs> Oh, but oh, mm, I don't want to ruin it. There's a story in there that she tells that I'm like, okay, no, never, <laughs> never again. But once never, never it, again. <laughs> no, I mean, I have, I bought it. I okay. bought it because I just, I loved it so much. But um, there's a story in there that you'll, you'll, you'll never want to go there <laughs> oh. unless you're training to become one. But anyway, yeah, I probably Fair won't enough. do that. No. <laughs> yeah. That's hmm. fucking funny. Like fucking where? Better. Oh, where in I'm gonna now I want to know like where in Tennessee this is like is this near any of the people that I know out there? <gasps> Can anybody confirm? <laughs> <laughs> what does it smell like in the springtime? Yeah. That's what I want to know. That's what I'm thinking, right? When the melt happens, we do not provide tours of the body farm. Fuck. Well, there you go. Oh, it's or at the University you? of Tennessee. Oh, Told that you. seems. Reasonable. That, sometimes. That, makes, was, that absolutely makes sense. Okay. I thought it was literally just like a farm yard and there's a bunch of bodies in a bar and it's like, hey, come on in, fella. What it's actually called the Anthropological Research Facility. Ooh. It's the body farm. It's the fucking body farm is what it is. <laughs> it says, if we honored all requests for tours, we would be unable to conduct any research. Also, having too many visitors would compromise the research we do conduct. I was thinking of going into it, uh, into yeah. forensic anthropology. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the reason why I was like super obsessed with, not obsessed, but like I wanted to know more about um, how, how do I go about being a forensic anthropologist? There aren't many uh, programs in Canada, but yeah. there are a shit ton of them in the US. Oh, yeah. And I was like, huh. Ah. And then that's the first time I had heard about the body farm. Uh, I'm sorry. The anthropological. The, yeah, whatever they say, right. body farm is better. Yeah, I like that. You, sounds like a know, gym. Do they, like a gym. Fucking body do they farm tell you? Gym. Right? Yeah. Do they tell you what happens in the book? Do they tell you what happens when they're done with the bodies? It it's never done. Like they go through the entire. Like, it's never, a, it says when I analysis really burn it. I don't know. Yeah, it says when analysis is finished, the skeleton may be returned to the family of the deceased for burial if requested. Otherwise, it will likely remain in the department's collection of skeletons. The University of Tennessee, Knoxville, boasts a collection of skeletal remains from more than 700 people. Yep. They just got 700 have, skeletons hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> I have a, a whole, like, a fully disarticulated, uh, yeah. like, skeleton. Because what they would do is they would just, like, throw it on the ground or whatever. And then we'd have to, like, identify what they were. Oh, this is like a metatarsal, or this is a whatever. Fever. I did it in school. It was so much fun. I that'd be awesome. Loved it. But anyway, not many opportunities to do anything in Canada. <laughs> we can't have fun in Canada. It's true. Very... My teacher worked. This is this conversation is very weird right now. <laughs> We're talking about the I'm in. I love this. I love this. Uh, my teacher worked on the Swiss Air 111 um, flight accident. Jesus. Oh. So that's what he, he he talked. We had a whole thing on it, and it was fascinating. Really sad, but super fascinating from a scientific point of view. Yeah. Um. So we had to identify people that way. Mostly Jesus. from wow. DNA. <laughs> oh, oh, sure. Yeah, from DNA, yeah, fuck. 
Imagine that, eh? Just like a fucking... I don't know how they do it. Like fucking litmus paper. Here's uh, uh, some. Basically. uh, 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 Basically. Oh, man. I mean, that that was another one of... It's like all these weird, like, disaster things. And I think it's partially a survival thing. I, I don't know what my obsession with it is, but after I took that class, I kind of became obsessed with knowing oh well the best way to survive these kinds of things is you've got to sit in this seat and <laughs> blah, blah, blah. like i became obsessed with that and it's like once you get into a situation like that you're gone you're gone <laughs> it's, it's it's over most of the time mm-hmm. there are some times where that didn't happen but still can uh, you imagine like surviving that have you oh, oh my god there's a really good youtube channel i'll show it to you it's amazing it has <laughs> tons of those stories where people <gasps> survive the most insane things like falling out of an airplane uh falling out of an airplane falling out of an airplane without a parachute or who did they piss off right (laughs) wow okay but one this story was incredible because this guy was saying first of all my parachute failed when i jumped out because he was uh what do you call them like skydiver skydiver it, it failed I hit the water and of course I break both my legs because like that Ugh. impact is just like you're you're done. You're hit the um, cement. Yeah. Or like he fractured whatever, so he had to like tread. But then he was just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna drown now because I can't tread water and I'm in the middle of nowhere. Goes back to my fear of opening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So you're like sitting there like, how is he gonna survive? How's it gonna survive? <laughs> but it, how's it gonna turn out? And then the the plane actually crashed. So what floats by? The fuselage. The wing. Oh. The wing. He grabs onto the wing and is like, "Okay, all right, here we go." And then realizes, "I need to, I need to figure out what to do." And and uh, then he decides to. He spots like land in the in the horizon. Right. So he's like, "Okay, I'm going to swim towards it." And then what does he swim into? A school of jellyfish. <laughs> Oh so, my god! It's funny, but it, it kind of is. It, it's, it's very funny. funny. Yeah. It is. It's funny. <laughs> it's like, I can't even piss on myself right now. Um, it hell. It's the channel is called Wonder Channel on YouTube. Seriously, watch it. You will. You'll watch it when you're warm inside your bed. And safe. <laughs> And safe, safe. Yeah. with with food and, and the whole nine yards. Oh my God. I'm glad I got my water back today. Like, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Shit. yeah, that's 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 crazy. What's going on? Down it's here. been so like, well, and it was only supposed to be like 15 degrees today, and I was like, maybe by Friday it'll be warm enough that everything will kind of start like thawing out. And it hit 31 today. First of all, after what we have been through, it felt like I could have walked out there in a tank top and it would have been amazing. Like I just walked outside. I was like, oh my God. Oh, it feels so good. And I was like, I'm going to go check. And I lifted my, like the well, I'm covered in bruises from this adventure all week because I have had to climb down in this well house and it's like six feet deep and climbing on pipes and all this other stuff. And I've been in and out of there a bunch of times. The lid to it's like 70 pounds. So I've had to like push that thing off and pull it back on and I've just beat the crap out of myself, but I lifted up the lid and I saw water dripping and I was like, Oh my God, we're going to have water. It's going to be so great. <laughs> it's kind of what I, it's like, Oh, land. land yeah. yeah. Probably how that guy felt. Yeah, probably. No, after- but how, how would that guy feel if he knew it was like the wing of his plane? Like, Oh fuck. Like I could have been on the goddamn plane. <laughs> Maybe did anybody well, survive I mean, the plane yeah, crash? The plane died if it crashed. That's like, what I'm saying. Was, yeah, because it was the plane that he was on crashed. was about to crash. Yeah. Even if they were going to oh, be so jumping out of the plane anyway. Crash? Oh, he knew it was going to crash. I thought he jumped crash. out of the plane and thought, ah, fuck. And then later <laughs> it was like, ah. <laughs> and then um, his parachute didn't work or something happened. Anyways, he hits the water. Things happen. He tries to swim away. He swims into the. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. I keep laughing. It's really not funny. It really is, though. <laughs> but like, have... he even said, like, if if anybody has the worst fucking luck in the world, it was me. I jumped yeah. out of a plane that I was supposed to jump out of, anyways, but it crashed. Then the fuselage somehow ends up near me. 
and then I try and swim away. And the, but then what? Also, he swims through the swims through mm -hmm. the, the jellyfish school of jellyfish, and then realizes that the rocks that he needs to climb onto on this like it's not really like there's no flat land. It's just rocks. And the, what are the rocks covered with? It's covered with this like the slimy like algae oh. type shit. Yeah, and he had no shoes on, and that stuff is like razor. Like you can yeah. cut the shit out of your feet. So he's like, I'm fucked. I'm That's fucked. It. I'm fucked. It's over. But somehow he survived. Because they found uh, there was a boat. Uh, like, of course, uh, this boat. Yeah, showed there's up. a this boat random boat. Up. <laughs> you need help, bud? <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. Yeah. Is that your fucking plane? <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> Gnarly. Did you swim through those fucking jellyfish? You asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Wow, oh, you yeah. made it through all of that. You made it through all of that. I guess here's a beer. Yeah. Leave you to it. <laughs> no, no, no. Take me with you. <laughs> right. You might want a minute alone. <laughs> yeah. But they also had more because, like I said, there were there was the plane crash thing. Then I was obsessed with learning about stories of Mount Everest. And I still oh. anything to do with Mount Everest. I was just like, oh, so fascinating. So what happens? Yeah. What happens to the body? Yeah. Oh, well. right like, yeah, it's just there it's just there and then you once you get to a certain level your brain starts melting down your back essentially i was like what, <laughs> what is that called <laughs> <laughs> yeah i want to do it one day and die <laughs> she's like i'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna die i'm gonna die up there that's fun yeah. She's gonna wait till she's like she knows it's coming soon anyway, and she's gonna be like, "I'm going for it, I'm going for it, guys. See you later." I'm, I'm 96 years old, but I'm going for it anyway. I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe. Why not? Why not? That's it, hilarious. I mean, it's not apparently it's not a very technically hard mountain to climb. It's just that it's it physically is is punishing. Yeah, hmm. it's tall as fuck. <laughs> It's a very long walk. Yeah. Huh. Do I have to climb? You still have to apparently have to do a two week hike to get to, get. to base camp. And oh, no. But then you need like two weeks before to acclimatize to that. Then you need two weeks to acclimatize to this. And then. It, da, 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 da. Oh, that's it's too long. long. No. Yeah. <laughs> that's way too long. Yeah. You can't just walk out the back. All right. Fuck it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, just no gear, just barehanded fucking t shirt. Barefoot. I think, uh, I, think I got about, this. Like the big, really sad, um, like storm that they had. Mm -hmm. And they had, like, a, of course, like a Russian guy or who's from cause Kazakhstan or something like that. He did it, no oxygen, like barely any, like just fucking badass. Like, yeah, no problem. Like, <laughs> I can save everybody. Basically, it's when he did. Um, Was he Wolverine? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Wait, Wolverine from Uzbekistan? From, no, no, from X Men. He's good. Oh, it's good. That's right. <laughs> Wolverine's good. <Canadian. laughs> but you know. Where's Steve Dare from fucking Lake Ladue, Manitoba to climb up that motherfucker? <laughs> it's just as cold. <laughs> no, just just oh, send man. Tom Brady up there. He's just got this. Tom Brady, like, yeah. He's Florida man now. He's got it. Yeah. He can totally do this. Florida man. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you ever have uh, hours to kill, there are a lot of really good documentaries on that. I don't, I never sleep and it happens all the time. Like it never fails. Like, and I did this, um, uh, I watched that. No one saw a thing on Sundance. It's about this little bitty town in Missouri. Like they all ganged up and killed the town bully who had like shot multiple people and had done all this other stuff, but they killed oh, him. That's a hell of a bully, right? There was yeah. a friend on that one too. <laughs> yeah. 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 And there's even been a movie about it. Yeah. Um, but they like they ganged up and they killed him and there's like 60 witnesses and nobody saw anything but then they have all those weird murders and disappearances and all that stuff after yeah. Yeah. like i i went down that rabbit hole like the night before last and it was four o'clock in the morning and i was like need more this is so <laughs> messed up um like, I saw another one recently not mur well possibly murdery they don't really know <laughs> 
Um, another one of my favorite cult documentaries because I think those are fascinating. Oh, the cult uh, documentaries. Yeah. Wild Wild Country. Excellent. It's okay. about a, a tiny, I think they're called, the, the, they're like a, basically a cult um, that took over a town in Oregon. Ooh. And it was basically about their, their story of this like cult basically <laughs> up against these townies in, you know, the middle of nowhere in Oregon and uh, how much, yeah, they were like armed to the teeth. Like it was like a full thing and people were really scared. And then they started kind of, I think they still exist. In fact, started to kind of take over everything. It's fascinating. Super, super. Oh, there. Mr. Noah, Noah says Morris. it's one of the best documentary yeah, series Noah, ever made. Uh, Noah was one of my peeps. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah. Like it's yeah. so, so good. I've watched it I think two or three times now. It's that good. Wow. It like, yeah. It's really good. I'll check it. Yeah, I'm going to have to put that on my list. I have so many. Like, I just keep rotating yeah. between. I don't have Netflix right now. You, so can, you, 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 you can find anything on YouTube. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like, I've got Amazon Prime, though. So I just, like, I'm making my way through every, like, weird documentary on there. And then I'll just move to the next one. And Prime's, yeah. I think Prime's, I find Prime is a lot better than Netflix. And I, mm -hmm. so I don't know why Netflix is all bullshit about raising their price every fucking two weeks. Right. Okay. No, it's fucking 20 bucks for your bullshit basic. What? Two Are you serious? No, it's just, I don't know. It's like 15 or something, 15 or 16 bucks. But anyways, yeah. Let's start it off at poison 10. the whole town? Oh, oh, that was a, oh, that that was was a different one. one. I saw that. I saw that one. There's what is another that one? one? I'm going to watch that tonight. Uh, ooh, it's a, oh, oh, my God. There's so many good ones. What is it called? It's a zero hour, I think. Yeah, it's something like that. Zero hour. And it was about the Japanese one, Japanese sarin attack. Ooh. Oh, my God, guys. Seriously, it is so fucked up. Like, so, so good. Uh, not what they did, obviously. Not, don't do that. Everything dubbed in German. <laughs> So be sweet. it's just so, so good. It was very, very, very well done in talking about their whole organization and how I think he's still alive. The like le leader. The leader? He's Ooh. He's blind and like he's a, apparently like this guru and everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I remember so that. Very, like high level um, bio high level chemists and one of that were part of the group. And so they were the ones that developed the thing and then they killed a bunch of people. Oh my God. It was just awful. Absolutely. Cause everybody's yeah, getting fucking sick, so right? Long. The whole town was getting just sick as hell. No, like they, they like had they, it in like a little, um, a little package or whatever. And they yeah, were doing yeah. it on the, on the subway. So people, you know what the subways are like in Japan. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's packed to the gills and people okay. did it. And then, oh my God. So oh freaking crazy. People are mental. That's, That's fucked. I can't wait yeah, like, to watch that one. Yeah, there you go. But like, <laughs> yeah. Just like what? <laughs> like, just I'm like not one day. Night. Yeah. You just, these guys just wake up one day and they're like, yeah, you know what? Fuck them. Sir, yes. I can't remember what they're, what, I, I, I think it was uh, railing against, you know, uh, consumerist culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually it is, yeah. Thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, oh my God, fascinating. So fascinating. And though even the one on Nexium 2 is really good. It's Nexium. a CBC, CBC podcast. But okay. Super, super good. Yeah, that's, that's actually true, Noah. About the anthrax. They couldn't get the anthrax they deadly enough. It. It's, it's, I mean, Saren is no, no, it's an older, yeah. it, like, it's, it's, it's mad, madness. That's Absolutely. insane. So they had, like, the President's Choice Anthrax, and that wasn't good enough. They needed the name brand Anthrax. You had to go, like, wow. Because <laughs> I think also the, the leader had a, had a thing against one of the judges or something that, in their case, because they, because the authorities whatever their equivalent of their authorities are mm. in the like FBI sense. Yeah, I've been yeah. watching them for a long time, obviously, because you have all these very well-educated and well-connected people that are part of the group. Mm -hmm. um, all of a sudden, importing like 
weapons and things like that. Like, I mean, that's somebody that you might want to that keep. looks a little weapon. weird. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, if you see me, like, you know, Googling human taxidermy, it's not as weird as, like, this guy with $50 million being like, oh, I need, like, 75 AR-15s, and let's see what else I can find. Yeah. So, Jesus. Fascinating stuff. Oh, my God. There's, there's so many of those documentaries that I've not wasted my time on, but just, like. No, it's not a waste. It's a, like you were saying, Sarah, like you, you just watch the tip of the iceberg and then all of a sudden it's like you're uh, right. You're, yeah, that's you like, here? well, that one um, that no one saw a thing like that happened. Like it's in like northern Missouri, but it's like an hour away from where my son, like maybe two hours, hour and a half, two hours, something like that from where my son lives. So it's like seven hours for me. And so I was like, wait a minute, like where, you know, I saw it and I kept seeing the, like the ad for it. I was like, I want to, what is this? What is this? And like, they just like the last episode of that, they talk about um, a woman who she was eight months pregnant and they killed her and cut her baby out. Yeah. And that woman was the woman that did that was just executed like a month ago. Yeah. That was yeah. that. Yeah. I was like, oh, whoa, wait a minute. That's that one. Okay. Well. This is crazy. Well, and there you go. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I was going, oh, wait a minute. I know about this. I didn't realize that I knew about it. I was like, oh, this I, is crazy. I, I don't know what it says about me and, and you now, too. <laughs> they were right? just like, oh, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, like, I've like, heard about that. Yeah. Terrible what they did. <laughs> Terrible. Right? Like, that's all. Awesome. Like, there's one, um, and I hadn't, I hadn't seen it, and we were talking about it one night. Who was, Christian was the one that had seen it. The Innocent Man. It's on Netflix. And it happened in Ada, Oklahoma. It was where they got these dudes to confess to these horrible yes. murders. And they yeah. didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. I, and some of them are still in prison. Well, that's yeah. like four hours from me. Yeah. And I used to, we used to go to that town all the time when I was a kid. And it's a weird place. <laughs> And so whatever, like they were talking about it, I was like, just wait a minute, where the people are or yeah, like it's it's just real world. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, which a lot of a lot of small towns around here are kind of like you get that whole feeling like you're 15 or 20 years behind anyway. And like technologically it's all caught up, but it's like the people just have not like value wise. Yeah, like it, it's it's really kind of very like conservatively like old like behind the time yeah 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 there you go that's the nice way of putting it but it really is like that's um that town is not far from where like joe exotic had the oh, zoo he lives right between uh bumfuck yeah. nowhere and you got a pretty yeah. mouth yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and that's like the zoo is like an hour and a half closer to me than ada is so it's all right there. And when all of that stuff happened with the Tiger King, we found out that he was from Garden City, Kansas, which is an hour away from here. And I was just like, how is all this fucked up shit happening? Like this little right trial. around here. You, like, you know, like the, you remember the, uh, like the in cold blood movie, the clutter family murders in Holcomb, Kansas. Mm -hmm. I've been to that house like probably 40 or 50 times. That's a, that's eight miles away from garden city. Like it's all right here around me. Oh shit. Yeah. We've been like, that house was for sale like a year ago. And I was like, we should go look at that. Like, that'd be cool. Like just, just act like we're going to go Hang by. Just go check we're it out. We're having a seance. <laughs> we just want to know. Just is anybody this in this. Oh shit. Man, look at so, like that. walk downstairs. Be like, is there anybody in here still? Like, are you hanging out? If, something, if seriously, if we did that and somebody says something back or touches, like it'll feel cold, so, I'm out of there. It's right? done. Goodbye. Like, Curse. Okay, no we're deal. No it's, deal. Like, oh. it's like, yeah, they're still here. We're leaving. <laughs> yep. Nope. No, thank you. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, no. No. Don't do ghosts. I now. mean, I <laughs> call, uh, like the, uh, when was this? You know, uh, the Bruce MacArthur's thing? You know who Bruce yeah. MacArthur is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for a while in my neighborhood, I'm like, what the hell is with these? Okay, it was a totally Goodfellas moment. Have you seen Goodfellas? Mm -hmm. Where Ray, Ray, Ray Liotta is like, oh, my Looking God, they're following me. Oh. <laughs> there were black helicopters everywhere. And they were just circling around in in my neighborhood. And I'm like, what, what, is, what is this? 
And then I see on our news, which is called CP24, that they had found all of these. In <laughs> I was like, holy shit. That is literally my house was here. That house was here. A literally three houses from me. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I got That's the jeebs like you wouldn't believe. No oh, shit. yeah. <laughs> oh. The jeebs. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Like I get all I get all weirded out like the like the BTK killers from Wichita, Kansas. Like that's like that's where we go to yeah, concerts yeah, and stuff like that. that. Cause it's just yeah, I mean it's like that's where Dusty lives. Oh Dusty. Dusty lives there. Yeah. <laughs> like the Dusty. BTK killers. Oh, I did from that. There. <laughs> Dusty. That's, that's hilarious. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like it's you know, that's you know, if I go to Kansas City to see my son, I go through there all the time. If we want to like really that's go weird. shopping because we live in the middle of nowhere, that's where city. we go. Yeah, we go to the big city of Wichita. <laughs> like that's where you know they've got the big like you know, a big axe comes like there's a lot of concerts and stuff there. there. They do. That's how that's how we would like Yes. Uh, that's uh, like the big store, the big version of X was Yeah. They have a super target there. Damn. What's yeah, a super target? Yeah. It's a 24-hour like, target. target. Oh, out of Canada. Fuck. Target's gone. Yeah, it's gone from here, man. Oh, that's sucks. Because they fucked with Zellers. That's they what you get. With Zellers. You don't fuck with yeah. Zellers, man. <laughs> Zellers is life. Mad about that. The, sorry, Target did what? Mm -hmm. okay. get rid of them have a good day yeah, like, target have that was how like our qualifying like we're going to a bigger city is is there a super walmart there or just a is walmart there, yeah if there's a super or walmart a it's kind of a big city if there's a mall and a super walmart it's huge like yo like we and that's the city like that was the place where you would go and your mom's like don't move from my side and i'm like okay super walmart Walmart's very. We're going anyway, to the mall. It's yeah. Indicative of uh, of some, you know. That's a status right? symbol. It's like fuck. We got two super centers. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, back in the day, it used to be like the. Is there an Applebee's there? Like that's a big city. If there's an Applebee's there, or like, is there an Outback? If they had Outback and Red Lobster, Oof. that was a big city to us. Ooh, Red Lobster, eh? Ooh. Fancy. Right, like that was you know you remember like you notice how when you were a kid you thought that was like one of the like Olive Garden and Red Lobster and Outback like that was fine dining, mm -hmm. and now that you're an adult yeah. you're like what? Gross, yeah, yuck. Hey, I got really excited when I was on the road. I got really excited when we went to Cracker Barrel. Right, I oh, love Cracker like, Barrel. Oh, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I was I laughing my ass off because we had we didn't have an Olive Garden until right before COVID happened. Oh, I'm no. talking like three weeks before they fucking shut everything oh, down no. last year. Like grand opening Olive Garden. I was like, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. That's... Her's gross anyways, but whatever. It was still something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't have like, we've got like Applebee's and stuff like that in the town I live in now, but the town that I grew up in, like there's not even a McDonald's there. Oh. Like nothing. Too... There's a Pizza well, Hut. Hey, Pizza Hut's cool. But that's it. But did they have mom and pop kind of thing? Like, like uh, there were, there used, when I was a kid, there were a whole bunch of them. Now there's like two. Like, there's only like three places you can eat in that town. Damn. I mean, yeah. I don't know why. I'm, yeah. That's, I mean, there's I like 2,000 people there. Atlanta, it's like, uh, what do you call it? Like, used to be a hamlet, but then they just kind of absorbed into the bigger city that was right there. Yeah. yeah. And so we, like, there was my house and, and all this just farms everywhere around where mm -hmm. we were. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's what it's like here. Like I, there's a town, like the Walmart is like three or four miles away in Kansas. And then I live in like just a group of houses. And then like five miles away is the town that we're actually associated with. Oh, okay. So yeah. It's so a weird similar. little like, yeah. Farms everywhere. Yeah. So. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the whole thing. I mean, it wasn't like we were still con like a. We had a. Oh, we mm -hmm. had a Tim Hortons. Oh no, we didn't have a Tim Hortons. Oh my God, not even a Tim it Hortons. Didn't, it didn't come until later. We had. Oh, what did we have? I can't even remember. That's like a. That's a yardstick for us. Yeah. <laughs> you have a Timmy's. Oh, cool. yeah, at Timmy's. Okay. Uh, now, then I'll come hang. Yeah. Yeah. Then we can hang out there. Um, <laughs> but 
getting to a Walmart or getting to any, you have to drive for that because mm-hmm. it's, it's in the, in the city. Yeah. 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 So that's hilarious. Industry. That's how my mom is still like that. She's like, I wanted to come do some shopping. So I thought I'd see if you were busy tomorrow. And I'm like, you know, there's Amazon now, right? Like, you know, when she wants to upgrade from having to go to Dollar General, because that's the only store in town where you can buy anything. She's like, I'm coming to Walmart. Yeah. We okay, have, mom. We have a Dollar General. We have Dollar General here. Or Dollar something. They Not have Dollar all Dollar sort of Dollar whatever. Bucker to Dollarama, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. Dollar yeah, we've got, got yeah, we've got dollar like, dollar. Yeah, there's Dollar General and Family Dollar, which you would think that those would be places where everything is a dollar, but they're not. Yep. And most right. of the time they're more expensive than Walmart. But then we have Dollar Tree. And God, God bless Dollar Tree. Like that's the best <laughs> thing in the world. Like you can walk in there with 10 bucks and walk out with some of the like it's gonna break in five minutes, but you've got a bag like this big, and you're just like, This is awesome. It's like you feel like a queen. It's like I got 10 phone 15 charges, bucks. Guys, right? 15 What's bucks. Up? You walked out with like a whole new set of champagne glasses that you're not afraid to drop because they cost a dollar. It's fine. It's no problem. It's totally okay. I like I the dollar like store. Too. I'm not shitting on the right dollar store by any means. No, I, I mean. Oh, the in cold blood. Noah watched the in cold blood one the other day. And they hated Truman Capote when he arrived and thought he was poking his nose where it didn't belong. Yeah, that mentality I think is really, you know. Perfect. Yeah, that's like You're the small town. A small town. Is- yeah, absolutely. That's how the um the one about Skidmore, Missouri, with the no one saw a thing. That's how those people were too. They hate like they would some true crime author went in there and they threatened her. They were just like, "You don't belong here. You need to leave." Oh Jesus Christ! And she was we like, don't "Take two kind of your kind <laughs> around here." <laughs> That's not what it was like. Right. Like, Praise Jesus and pass the ammunition, brother. <laughs> like, the people that they interviewed, though, like I, I texted you and I was like, you got to watch this. And it was the very first episode. And they just show this dude. He's standing in front of his trailer and he's got real long hair and he's bald he was, on the yeah. top and he's yes. kind of oddly shaped. And he's just standing there like with this weird, creepy grin on his face. And I was like, what? And they just show him for like a minute. And he's just standing there like, and I'm going, what is this guy? Well, he's like a Vietnam vet and knows everything in town. And the first thing he says was the first mistake they made was they didn't kill his wife too. I would have killed his wife. And I was like, what is going on Suspect. here? Unsub. Unsub that son of a bitch right now. We're well, Spencer. No, he Come was on. like, <laughs> yeah, <Spencer>. right? <laughs> Send Dr. Get me Reed in. Yeah, right now. No, you don't want to send Dr. Reed in because they catch him all the time. And something always, every time they send him into some like cornball little town place like that, something happens to him. Left to bust bless his ass. Him. Yeah, bless I just love that, him. What's his actor's name? He's uh, Matthew Gray Googler. Not only is he fucking hot as hell, but he's just like a <laughs> little, little kooky. I yeah, love I love. I'm he's like it. all about Halloween. His little drawings, and I love him. Like he's the greatest. Like did you he's see so much fun. The the uh, the tour of his uh, treehouse. Yes, <laughs> where he 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 was just like, oh, so this brick, when you remove it, oh, there's some animal bones in here. <laughs> And he just has a bag of animal bones. And he's just like, I'm going to give this to my wife one day. <laughs> just to my wife. But not today. Now it goes back. He's not. <laughs> I love him. He's yeah, so he's, weird. Like, like, he's very, uh, like the pictures he posts on Instagram and stuff like that. I'm just like, you odd little man. I think you're so wonderful. Like, I just, I love Shine everything on, you him. crazy diamond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He's uh like he's the out, books out there, he writes children's books and does all like I just. Oh, Are I they like it. in the vein of salad fingers? Remember? Yeah, salad they're fingers? kind of weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they very much are like types. They're good, but they're really like they're very, they're odd. Like all the stuff he does is very odd, but it's great. I love it. I I love it. Like they did an episode. He directed an episode of Criminal Minds that was set in Guymon, Oklahoma, which was like, when I was a kid, that was a big town for us. And it's like 40 minutes from me. 
and like they have the big rodeo there every year and it was the one i don't know if you guys saw the ones with the rodeo clowns that were killing people what the oh, fuck? What yeah. sort of nightmare has that knew, come to life? You knew it was going to be fucked up. If he, if they, if you saw his name as the director, you knew it was going to be a fucked up episode. Like there was the one with um, where they had like the seven foster children and they ran a funeral home and they were killing the kids and cremating them. Like he directed that one. Like you knew it was going to be fucked up. Yeah. So when they said it was in Guyman, Oklahoma, I was like, oh, well, this will be it's like rodeo clowns in Guymon, Oklahoma. Are you trying to fucking freak me out? Because that's where we go all the, <laughs> For the time. Rodeo. Yeah. Like they have yeah. the big rodeo there. So clowns bother you then. In like, general. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a clown person anyway. But then when you have them like killing people, I'm like, really? Why not? They don't bother me. No. I mean you're like, uh, you're like Bozo? I never had a problem with Bozo when I was a kid. And then my dad's friend's kids were babysitting me one time and they made me watch killer clowns from outer space. And I never came back from that. Really? That's not even yeah. that so bad, but it? I was little, like I was little, but is it the makeup or is it the, the like zaniness or <laughs> I don't, I've always wondered. I've been like, I so don't I had a friend of mine or a guy that I went to school with who was like terrified of clowns and balloons at the same time oh so it's it point. he saw it one too many times when he was and a kid it, it's just like i don't like the noise that that balloons, balloons make when make. it rubs against something it makes that ring uh, uh, noise he hates that but then also the popping sound obviously it's very jarring when that happens mm -hmm. wow. see like i don't because i never had a problem with bozo like i don't have like if we're at a circus or if we're at something like the the rodeo clowns like when we go to the rodeo they don't freak me out like it doesn't bother me but i see this big giant dude with his face painted up like a clown and he's killing people and i'm like what I mean, is going on like it's i think it's just whatever light they're portrayed in would it be less scary clown, it doesn't bother me there you go would it be less scary without the clown makeup if it was just some dude killed like, yeah that's fine yeah. Put the fucking clown makeup on. Yeah, it was the clown makeup. The murder's fine. That's not that's yeah. off the table, but it's the facade. Like, <laughs> like we my my daughter watches Criminal Minds with me and she's eight. Like she was like she's been watching that show since he was like four or five. And she's loves it. Like she gets all into it. Like she loves like the crime solving part of it. And like the clown thing didn't bother her. She was like, I don't really know. She's like, that's kind of weird. Like there's a, there's only been a couple episodes where she was like, I don't think I want to watch this one. And I'm like, that's okay, fair. well, that's fair. go on. At least she's, she, she's self-aware enough to know that it's like, hmm, yeah. Yeah. She's like, no, this one's not going to be good for me. Not my like taste. she, <laughs> her, the worst, the one that was the worst for her was like the very end of the series. When, uh, I haven't yeah. seen it. Okay, I'm not gonna. No, I won't. I, I, never, I, I'm not. I, I'm. I don't care about that kind of thing. Just go for it. Like, <laughs> unless spoil else, away. Any, I'm spoiler gonna, alert. Spoiler we're gonna, alert. We're gonna have a spoiler <laughs> alert real quick. But, Our viewers uh, just dropped by twenty oh, yeah. percent. God and, damn it! And my my favorite part about uh, the guy in Oklahoma episode was everybody was dressed like they were in the 1980s. That's that's like the last thing I need to say about that one. Every time they're in Kansas or Oklahoma, they are dressed like they're 20 years behind. And I'm like, that's that's, not right. that's really that's, not uh, far off for these yeah, little bitty towns like this. These guys but, are good. Uh, yeah. It's like, you guys nailed that one. But no, uh, at the end of the series, it was like a two-part episode. And you think that Spencer is going to die. Like he's uh -huh. seeing people that have died in his life and all this other stuff. And, do it. Uh -huh. and she's sitting there and she's watching like he, he had been in like an explosion or something and it had caused like a brain bleed or something like that so all of a sudden his nose starts bleeding and he has blood coming out of his ear uh -huh. and he just passes out and has a seizure she was like she's over there and she she was tearing up and everything and i was like do you need to do you need to go and she's like i can't watch it what if is he gonna die is he gonna die and i was like i i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen here i'm freaking out too she's like i can't watch it then she left and i was like okay well and then I went and got her. I was like, "He's awake. He's gonna. He's gonna live. It's okay." Yeah. And she's like, "Did you ever watch <sighs> the, the original CSI?" Yeah. Some of it. So they had a couple of them that were like that too, where you're just mm -hmm. like, "Oh my god!" One of the like a big character is mm -hmm. getting into some serious. 
trouble. Grissom, look out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was fab. Like the first one was so really, good. I mean, not mm-hmm. a, an accurate depiction of what no. criminalists do, but not at all. Yeah. In a sensational way, it was fabulous. Oh, yeah. It was a great show. Um, yeah, but then they had to do all the spinoffs, right? And I don't understand why they did it. They should have left with this fucking one goddamn CSI. I didn't give a shit about CSI Miami or CSI oh, New York or fucking CSI CSI. Back. Yeah, Horatio. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> or, or fucking whatever other 10,000 CSIs they made, man. Like, well, okay, I, I didn't mind Miami. But when you bring Gary Adam Sinise, Rodriguez on Miami for a while? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he ended up on Criminal Minds. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I like CSI New York. Was it good though? Like Gary Sinise is like a guy. Like was it? Well, they had Gary Sinise on like the Criminal Mind spinoff too. How? Why? They always I mean, put him in that stuff. Of... Fuck He's got you, that face. Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like Mark Harmon, like you know, you look at Mark Harmon and you just you automatically just put him in that show. Like he's just that character. Yeah. Or what about like, and I've never got into it, but my sister was huge into NCIS. Yeah. That's the one. He I was never cared about NCIS. NCIS. And, my, and, my wife is a monster law and order fan. She loves one? that. See right. law and order. I didn't, I didn't get into law and order as much as I did. Like I kind of got into CSI a little bit, but nowhere near like criminal minds and NCIS. Yeah, see, like, we were, if it's we were on, I'll good. watch it, but I didn't like go like, looking for it yeah we watch criminal minds a lot too but it's law and order but ncis i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't care less about that wasn't ice t in that am i wrong which one criminal minds or CSI? no and ncis oh, no. He yeah he's an svu oh svu yeah, yeah. Jesus. yeah. That's law and order noah, SVU. That's um, noah when you're visiting small town usa just be prepared for everything to close very early um like and it just and it kind of depends on where you are like iowa i haven't been around iowa a whole lot is that a dry state there are dry states in america keep that in mind most canadians like to drink counties more than states okay see i don't know the difference Uh, like there's usually places in like every state you can drink alcohol in but there's like counties there's dry counties so this part of the state you can't drink it yeah but the whole state is the Yeah, and it can be like, you know, a county here and a county there or whatever. Like, we went to Arkansas one time on, like, a little weekend vacation. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Like, I was meeting people from Cookville, Tennessee, and Russellville, Arkansas. (laughs) Russellville, Arkansas, of all places. Like, I don't know. It it was the half between both places and everybody that was going only had like two days. So we're like, let's meet halfway. And, you know, there's this big lake there. I'm like, we'll go fishing and kayaking. We'll do all this stuff. It rained the whole time we were there. So none of that happened. But um, we get there and there's a bar in the hotel. And so we're all like, let's go have a drink and then we'll go to the liquor store. So we go to the bar and they're like. Well, they just made this a dry county. We actually don't even serve alcohol here anymore. And we're like, so there's not a liquor store in town? And they're like, no, the nearest liquor store is 15 miles that way. And we're like, get in the car. Everybody get in the car. We had to go 15 miles and we spent like so much money. And it because it was the liquor store right at the county line. Yeah. We spent like, it was expensive as hell. Like we spent so much money just for two days worth of alcohol. It was stupid. So, like, make sure it's not a dry county when you go, if you like to drink, Noah. <laughs> yeah, um, that's something you want to look at. Like, mom and pop places are usually a million times better than anywhere else you can eat in the town. Like, that's the one thing. Yeah. yeah. Like, the yeah, little... Robins and dives. Yes. <laughs> like, find the little God restaurant. That, find the little restaurant that looks like it might have a fly problem, and it's going to have the best food in the you world. You mean Flavor Town? Yes, flavor town. <laughs> Guy Fieri. <laughs> like there's a there's a Mexican restaurant here and it's like it's in an it used to be a pizza hut. And you walk in and like I mean there's fly strips hanging in the corners. This place looks like it's going to be really sketchy. Yeah, I don't Best like margaritas that. you'll ever have in your life. The food is unreal. Like it's the waitresses call you sugar. They're me- like they're they're all Hispanic like most of them don't speak much English. Oh, okay. So they call you all kinds of stuff. Oh, I bet. <laughs> and like it's you know it's a blast. Oh, like, I always it's the food but is just amazing. True. 
that's yeah, like it's actually true about i think that's true most like in most places yeah I remember um for my sister's wedding we went to went to mexico my partner was with me at the time who speaks spanish so that helps and he's like yeah i don't worry about it we'll just go and play to carmen and go out i was like terrified to leave I, seriously i was really really i was like scared, the resort. scared. Yeah. and he's just like yeah, i don't worry about it uh, we'll get in the, the the van and we'll just go, go to the anyway so we get there and i'm like we go to a restaurant somewhere i'm like this place looks really really sketchy he's like this restaurant has some of the best reviews like and it is literally a hole in the wall with like one woman doing all the cooking whatever mm -hmm. And it was the best Mexican food I've ever had. It yeah, that's ex so everything was like fresh and just oh my god, it was so tasty. Yeah, like and see that's how like this place, uh, like the town in Kansas, like right over here, there's a large beef packing plant. So a lot of people like immigrate into this area because of the beef of the beef packing plants that are around here, and so their families all will like open up little businesses, like all the taco trucks here. If like I finally I learned to order tacos in Spanish and we went to the taco truck tonight and I ordered my tacos in Spanish and I finally got the real hot salsa. I've never been happier about anything in my life. But they like, you know, it's all these families that have just come from Mexico and they open up these little restaurants. The food is like the one that I've the restaurant that I like to go to. It's like this old man has to be like 70, 80 years old and he's just yeah. back there cooking up a storm and it's the best food like it's yes. so good That's so awesome. flavorful fantastic did anybody watch the documentary tickled tickled why do i feel like this is like a clown thing Probably. i don't know <laughs> See, no no the chat's not really as like as much delayed but when we, we were talking about like all this other stuff and i i wasn't paying attention i'm sorry it's completely my fault that the questions are coming no, up uh, i was paying attention because I care about you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Come back next week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't watch Tickle. Is it, is it about like? Yeah, what's that one about? Clowns like that like to tickle, or maybe ticklish clowns. Just I think they are furries. <laughs> so you're tickle dance. It's kind of the cat peeking dance. Well, my cat is over here. Licking his toes. Yeah. She's like, what the fuck? Do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, uh She's like, is this fucking live right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you right? I'm not dressed. <laughs> no one everybody saw you do that. Get the hell. Well, keep looking, I guess. See ya. Uh -oh. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. I heard my cat scratching at the door. I bet it's the old one. We'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a game show. Oh, wow. That's very deaf. Uh, oh. Come on. Okay, no. Maybe. Yes. No. Yeah, that's that's Ralph. He's just lazy. He does that. Yeah. He likes to throw his body against the door and then just lay there. <laughs> He'll be back in two seconds, so I'll have to it's go back dead. again. It's a kids. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, we, we talk we, like we really run the gamut of all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. The most important thing I want you people to take. <laughs> no, I mean, that's fantastic. I love that, where we just like talk shit about that's whatever. Fantastic. But the one thing I want people to take away from this is checking out the new Amphibious Assault album because, God yes. damn it. Absolutely. Definitely. You can stream it. I, on, I had to watch. Twitter, yes. Title, iTunes, Bandcamp. Um, yeah, all of my links are in my link tree. If you go to my uh, Twitter, the link, you can yeah. click on the link there. It'll show you all the links that you'll possibly need to. FallonBowman.com. Yep, FallonBowman.com or AmphibiousAssault.net. That's new. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that is new. AmphibiousAssault.net. We'll remember that. Yeah. Uh, .com is taken, as you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. See, that's, that's yeah, surprising. It, yeah, I it's been taken for as I couldn't get it back in the day either. Someone huh. someone is really crazy about amphibious assault vehicles. I don't know. I wonder what do we know what's at amphibiousassault.com? No, I think it is a military something or other. Not a I, I don't know. Yeah. Not salamanders. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not killer salamanders either. Um salamanders. Or newts. 
Newts are awesome. Damn it. What a waste. I, I, I didn't spell that right. I get I fat fingered it bad. Newts. What did you do? i I was trying N -A -W. to yeah. oh okay, I should just let's see if he'll come in this time. You can mute Fallon. Come on, Oh, right. I got it. Oh man, it says click here to buy amphibiousassault.com as your website name. So oh, someone parked it or like yeah, it. somebody's that's parked it. it. Yeah, that's annoying. See, it's it's destiny. Been like that for since 2002. Ugh. Because I had to. So buy what are they waiting for? Oh, they're waiting for the, the invasion of the newts. Yeah. That's Samurai nice. salamanders. I think yeah. we all are in a way. 2022. Oh, uh, so there was another thing that I discovered lately. Whoa, I have some really weird things open here. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do that? Are you looking and you're like, what was I looking up there? Oh, yeah. All yeah. the time. Okay. Like, the, like, I'll open my, I'll, I'll wake my computer up and like pop up my Chrome and I'm like, what? <laughs> but, yeah, like. Like I start like when I'm watching these documentaries, I start like researching all the little Dude. side stuff that they're talking about. What is this? Yeah, like I love to. I'll sit here at my computer. I'll pull up Netflix or Hulu or Amazon or whatever and watch these on my computer, and just sit there and I'm like, "What?" So I'll be listening to them. And I'm like, "We're gonna look at this. Ooh, we're gonna look at this. Uh, what are they not telling me about this case?" And then I'm like, I go back the next day and I'm like, "I have a problem." Like, so I've been watching, rewatching Star Trek Voyager. Okay. And um, because I used to watch it every like time I came home from school, my brother would get home from school roughly at the same time, and he would sit and watch it. So I've been mostly it's uh stuff to do with Star Trek stuff. So like who the Maquis were, even though I knew, I knew all this stuff when I watched the show previously, but I totally forgot about mm -hmm. all of it. Yeah, anyway, that's that's what I it opened to this. I was like, what the hell is oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, I did do that. Oh, I'm a nerd, yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> context. Perfect. <laughs> so I did it. That's good. What? That's Somebody good. said that they found out who Techno Viking is. I don't believe it. What? You know who Techno Viking is? Yeah, I know who Techno Viking is. Techno Viking is amazing. Sarah, <laughs> fire up the YouTube, the YouTube machine, Techno Viking. Okay. We'll screen oh, share like that. Right we'll yeah, oh, you can do that? Oh, that's yeah, cool. Let's we'll screen yeah. share okay. that. You guys can all watch Techno Viking with us, and then I know it's like three in the morning in Ontario, so Fallon's probably tired. I'm, funnily enough, I went to bed at like really late yesterday, 2 a.m., yeah. I think. Jesus yeah, how I are you know. feeling we're this scary. morning? We've talked about how old you feel when you stay up that late. Yeah, no, really the only person or creature. Am I going to the original up. Techno Viking video or what am I doing? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> from like 10 years ago? Yeah, it's old, okay. old video from like early internet days. <laughs> okay. 56K <laughs> modem. <Here> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking buffer, buffer faster, goddamn you. AOL.com. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Here we go. Behold. Oh, can you hear it? <laughs> so this chick is dancing, right? Enjoying herself. This is during the Berlin Fuck Parade, which is like a like an electronic festival, whatever. And da da da, she's like, Whoa, everything's really great. I love this, it's wonderful. <laughs> and then <laughs> I really and love my then... little wig. I love <laughs> and then dancing is so cool. Oh, yeah. And then this guy, oh, 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 excuse me, sir. Excuse me. And then he's, Excuse me. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's, oh, I was just going over that. No, you're not. No, you're going over there. <laughs> you stop. Okay. You're going to get run over by that car, bro. Just fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I 
mean, and, and the thing is, is that all of this, people weren't sure if it was staged. Like, did this guy <laughs> just do this for the, knowing that the camera was there? And this? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the best part. And it's actually a really cool song. Slammed. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got sick moves. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so everybody's walking behind him, like, fuck that. I'm following this guy. This yeah, here, take this. This is okay. random people handing him stuff. What's that? Chocolate? I'm Perfect. Uh -huh. Not worthy. <laughs> Like, this is a waste of my time. Yeah. yeah. What does he do with it? Does he put it in his pocket or does he rip it up? I thought he had oh, a fanny yeah. pack. There he goes. I was hoping he'd have a fanny pack, like a Viking fanny pack. It's just made of the skin of his enemies or something. With a zipper. <laughs> and he's wearing like Thor's hammer or whatever, which has unfortunately been co opted by assholes. But yeah. <laughs> There's a shirt. I think this was in the early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah, this was like 2001, 2001 or, or two. Something? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, so this is Techno Viking, and apparently the, some, he's been identified because he didn't want to be identified for a really long time. <laughs> oh. Just went off the grid. He's just like, I don't want people to know who I am or whatever. And something 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 and i don't know i want everybody to know if i look like that yeah, 100%. <laughs> he could have he could have made a pile of cash so everybody yeah, saw this video doors. Yeah, like you know he could have been the dancing guy uh on you know with fucking prodigy or something you know that had that yeah, exactly guy. yep could have this is that. like it looks like he's getting quite the peck workout with this like yeah those are some those are some pecs. Pectorals. Pectorals, yeah. <laughs> oh, what does this do? Like just like touching him. Like oh. look, there you go. Oh, it was two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Right. Twenty one. Twenty one years ago. There you go. There's a huh. blast from the internet past. Okay, the reason I love using, well, okay, using We don't okay. we don't care about that. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Steve Dave. <laughs> nice flex, Dan. Nice play, Dan. <laughs> oh, okay. The reason why it's being talked about is because my character, that the new character that I've created in Cyberpunk 2077, is basically looks like Techno Viking. Like he has the same beard and like, yeah, whatever. That's a little homage. Yeah. Homage. <laughs> the QAnon Shaman or brother separated. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's there you go. Yes, hi, baby. Are you awake now? Now I know where your passion for a water sponsor for your stream started. <laughs> I've been trying to get what? water sponsorship. And that I Icelandic like, water? Since, like, this is today we're drinking this water. And then... <laughs> just give her the fucking water sponsorship. Yeah, water I'm not asking. Come like, on. I just want more water. She just wants water. Like, it's not hard. Smart water or Essentia or like somebody. Come on. Who was Come it? On. Who was it? Oh, it was Icelandic glacial water. That's yeah. Icelandic glacial water. You guys aren't doing fuck all else. Just <laughs> you're never even heard of you. One. You'll be a star, bud. Come on. Hi, will you sleep with me? <laughs> we'll sleep. I don't think Hi, Sarge. He's like <laughs> <laughs> He's grumpy. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing? Who are you yeah. talking to?" Yeah, I like you should like, be paying attention to me right now. Oh, I was looking to see if there was a cat. Like I have, like my kids have Papa shot basketball back here, and usually there's a cat sleeping in that. Aww. I don't know where it's at. If I had one of those, that's what Sarge would probably hang out there. But it's it's yeah. not warm. He likes to be in warm. Yeah. Areas. 
specifically. Yeah. specifically. Anyway. Has to be a certain cool. temperature or they're not happy with it. Mm. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> talked about a lot of weird things but you know you need to go read that book for real i'm going to it's like i'm fabulous. about to i'm gonna pull it sure, up on amazon like here yeah. in a minute like pop it in there too prime like see i'm so far out in the middle of nowhere that when they say prime two-day shipment they mean it like if i order something for my son in kansas city he's got it three hours later and i'm like two days like business days like bank holidays what's yeah. happening like, yeah, Give it's gonna take. be here in six months. Like, what are we? What's happening here? Yeah, I don't ever know. That your shit shows up. I Fuck. read that she also has another book now called Spook, where she talks Ooh. about like debunk, not debunking, but kind of delving into the the afterlife. Ooh, and like the science behind that kind of thing. Which That's okay, now I'm gonna have to buy it because it's new. Mm -hmm. Is that the Ghosts of Body Farm? <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that would be that's that's like, a new I album want... title, Fallon. Well, you can have guy... that. The Ghosts of Body. Farm. That's like a yeah. death metal band. The Ghosts of Body. The Ghosts of Body. Farm. Yeah, it has to be a uh, like a black metal, symphonic, like a black metal. Like yeah, you've got to be like a metal. Swedish black Demu metal. Demu Burger two point eight. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be the uh, umlauts on top of things. <laughs> <laughs> Birdie farm. <laughs> <laughs> you, have to record, you have to record in a bathtub with no yes. equipment. Just Absolutely. Your phone, just screaming. They would, there wouldn't be any ghosts because no. they died somewhere else. Did they? they die on the farm. Did they, they like find their? Did they like go to find their body and maybe? I don't know. How does they that work? You know what imagine. we need? To, like, there's a guy. Um, he lives in Colorado and he does like, he's a video game streamer, but he does like paranormal like all the like the cemetery like goes to all these different places and he runs furry conventions too so this guy's like a jack of all trades type of dude like if i should like hit him up and be like bro go to the body farm like we want to know like is there shit happening there yeah that's that's her next book imagine you're still alive inside your body on the body farm <laughs> and when they cut you up when you just fly out like wee i'm free <laughs> <laughs> but no one can hear your scream like what are you doing don't cut me open i'm still alive god damn you, you know, ooh, ooh. oh that shit's scary like scary. they've there's been cases of that lately like people they think they're oh, dead, fuck, they I get them all the way to the morgue and then they're not it's like can you imagine being the pathologist oh god like i would no uh, ooh, uh, no uh, i quit you're like i'd be like do it and all of a sudden the freaking eyes moves and the oh yeah that would be my 10 35 incision to the upper pit oh, oh. <laughs> someone just says ow fuck yeah. <laughs> or they like, cut in and it starts bleeding and they're like that's not supposed to have oh god <laughs> can i help you yeah. sir you just hear oh <gasps> no a little that higher yeah. although apparently there are some post-mortem noises and or things that happen, which you may think that could be oh. coming alive, but yeah. No, I could not. I don't know. It, she talks about that in the book, actually. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to read this. Yeah, it's fabulous. Sounds from the farm. Like, I'm about to go load my Amazon watch list up with all kinds of stuff, and then... <laughs> because it also like, will... Um, tell you other books that are similar. Yeah. You're like, oh, yes. Yeah. Working Stiff is another one. It's I'm going to be like, I'm about to spend so much money. Yeah. I, I have that one as a audio, uh, no, um, what do you call that? Co co audio book. book or Kindle? No, no, Kindle, whatever it's called. Yeah, Kindle. That one is good too. That one's about a medical examiner in, in New York. Oh, right if I put that on my Kindle, I can just read it tonight. It's really good. Right really now. good. Sad, super Maybe I should do that. Really good. Oh, there you go. Nice. Do it. Yeah, I'm going to have to like go next time I go up to Garden City because now that's my city that I go shopping in. Um, next time I go up there, I'm going to have to like journey out to the clutter house and be like, guys, look, here it is. Here it is. I'm stuff. here. I'm not stopping, but I'm here. That's where it happened. Be like, 
over there. Dead people in that place. Like a long time ago. <laughs> or we could just go <laughs> just... to the bathroom and summon Bloody Mary. Oh. Yeah. Candy man, whatever you prefer, something like that. Ooh, I don't think I mm, I don't want to do candy man. I don't think I did candy. I only did Blood Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, that bitch came out sometimes, man. That's like crazy. Ooh. She 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 appeared in the in the, the mirror and then you're you're it's it's over. So, I remember right, that happened to me when we were kids. We summoned her. I thought she was there. I opened the door and it's like in the bathroom where it's like slippery tile, and I just just ate it because <laughs> oh, no, she's gonna get me. Ah, like <laughs> Bloody Mary, she'll get you. We we did that a lot when I was a kid. I don't remember. I don't think we ever like got her to come out. But yeah, I don't say I one, ever like, saw it. But what was the one? I was oh, like, like the, in the area the, when the shit was going on. But I was like, "Fuck y'all!" You know. remember the one you would do at slumber parties? The light as a feather, stiff as a board thing. Yeah. Like, we're... <laughs> let's play the curse. <laughs> yeah. Like we did that on a camping trip one time. Like my my parents and their best friends and. Like they had, um, there were four of us girls and we were playing that. And I swear to God, one of the girls started floating. And I was like, oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We did that stuff. Like, that's not normal. Is it? No. I don't know. Like even Ouija boards and things like I recall asking for one and my mom didn't have any problems with it. But like my grandmother or, you know, they were like, those things are evil. You should yeah, my mom was like, no. hell no, you're not no. getting one of those. No. Oh, we talked on that shit all the time. We talked to Kurt Cobain. We talked <laughs> to we were like, hey, Kurt, what's up? <laughs> like, how you doing, man? Yeah. What's it like over there? Yeah, I'm like, I'm having a bad day, Kurt. Tell me what to do. I'm, I'm, like, well, I'm like 10 or 11 asking. <laughs> oh, never mind, Kurt. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. It's fine. It'll be okay. Yeah. You don't feel like talking today? I'm sorry. All right. Well, I'll let you go. <laughs> yeah. My mom, I asked for a Ouija board one time and she got like, I've never seen anybody get so mad at anything in their whole life. And she already made me go to church like three times a week when I was a kid. She was really on it then. She was like, You're going to the Bible study. You're going to go to this. You're going to, I was like, that was especially Why? because you asked for a Ouija board. Like, oh yeah, you need. Jesus. Yeah, she was like, "Yep, you, you need some more Jesus in your life." And and now look at me. I yeah. watched true crime documentaries where people get blown up, and I'm just like, "Ooh, let's watch that again." You need the Jesus. That's why you need the Jesus. I gotta go. I, I refuse. Like she's always like, "You should come over on Sunday." No, because you will trick me into going to church, and I don't want to. <laughs> She's like I, she told me she put me on the prayer chain over there one time and I was like, oh God. The, the what now? The prayer chain. What is that? Is it like a they, literal everybody, everybody in the church, they have a list of people that have things like there's a whole list of people that have things going on. And she told her friends that I needed to get back to God. So I got put on the prayer chain. Oh my. So they're praying for you. Yeah. Hmm. I was like, oh curious. Okay, that's fun. You are you? If you don't mind me asking, is it like is it Catholic or is it? They're uh, Baptist. Baptist. Okay, so yeah. no no confessionals or anything. No, like that? no, no confessional. Mm -mm. I always thought that those were cool. I would go in them and be like, <laughs> like no? any time. Yeah, my mom had <laughs> one of my mom's good friends was Catholic when I when I was younger, and they would do like the Halloween stuff and everything, and I would just take off through the church, like I want to see what's in here. Like, what do you guys do? Yeah. What is this because thing? All I really wanted to know was, does the pr priest father father does is he always in there? Like he's just exactly. hanging out. Exactly. I wanted to yeah. know, just wait for people or <laughs> schedule time or that's right. You know? I don't know. Yeah, he's just sitting there, like just he's just like. Does he just hang out all day? <sighs> yes. He's like, God, here you are again. Like, for, forgive me, Father. Yes, my child. <laughs> <laughs> Seven days, seen... a new record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a meme that's um, it's Dave Grohl, and he's singing the first line of "Best of You," where he's like, "I've got another confession." And the the priest is sitting in the thing. He's like, "Stop yelling." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's great. 
Just sit JB in the comments. It says, after these past two nights, I'm going to need to call them up and tell them to pray harder. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of little 80-year-old ladies at the First Baptist Church in my hometown, and they're worried about me going to hell. So y'all, we have an emergency. <laughs> we need to really, we need to step up our prayers real hard right now. We need to. Something's wrong with that girl. She used to be so sweet. <laughs> we'll get her back to the Lord. Oh, wow. Amen. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, that's interesting. We got we to gotta name drop your cat, Sarge. Oh, yeah. You name if you if you you name drop him. Oh yeah, they know love Sarge. it. Yeah. Oh, never met Sarge, but Sarge is here. He's hanging out. <laughs> Sarge, he's the man. See, I used to give my cats creative names, and then I started letting my kids name my cats. And the one that hangs out with me all the time, her real name is Margarita, and my oldest child named her. I had I had nothing to do with that. I swear. If you know me, you know I love margaritas, but I didn't do it. And we were gonna call her Rita, but by the time we picked a name, we'd been calling her Kitty for like a week. Yeah. So. Her name is Margarita, but she just goes by Kitty. And then I have another cat named Precious because my daughter thought that was a good name. And then I have a big fat yellow cat whose name is Gato. Gato. Yeah. We're Gato. real creative Gato. around here. Gato. I just thought of cake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, en français, oui, oui. Uh -huh. En français, tu es Gato. Like, I, I think I'm just going to name all my cats cat in different languages and just see what happens. But oh, yeah. le chat petit, le petit chat. <laughs> and then I have like, there's the baby. Her name is Koki off of Wild Kratts, which I don't know if any of you have ever Koki. heard of that show, but that's one of the people on the show. And so my four year old named it. Funny um, in like slang, uh, South African slang, Koki is, a, is a, like a marker. Really? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, we're like, oh, you can do that with a cokey. That's a, it's a marker, which is funny. Huh. 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 Funny. My cat's name is Marker. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's kind of wild that, like, I have this weird rash that has just started on my arm. Ah. You can go check that out. Go check that out. <laughs> check that out. <laughs> I okay. get that looked at. That's, That's not related. We're not responsible for that. It's what the oh my god, it's the ghosts. It's the it's body farm. The body the farm ghosts. It's a bloody Mary. Yes, <laughs> finally. Bloody Mary's here. She's like, what's up? Yeah. Okay. She's like, I'm back. <laughs> so like, I, said, I knew I'd find you. Yeah. It's not funny because oh kill my ass. <laughs> kill my ass. <laughs> She really yes. wanted to hurt me because we had summoned her so many times and then we'd run away. And she's probably she like, was like, what do you want? What are you doing? You keep yeah. like summoning me and you don't want to talk to me? And you don't like, fucking hang out or what? You're so canceled. God. Fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, what, that's all she wants. She's going to show up. She's like, so. I'm here. Like, you yes. Spend years trying to get my attention and then you just run off. Like, what the fuck off. do you like, want? Like, are you going to say you something? Know, like, kids today. <laughs> You they have just fucking ignore me now. They don't even try to call me anymore. <laughs> no, they send me a text. text. <laughs> They're just texting Bloody Mary all the time. Oh my god, that would be like if I could change my. Uh, you ever heard of the app Replica? No. It's like a, a AI for maybe use it for mm. people who are like lonely and stuff like that. Okay. And uh, <laughs> so I downloaded it, and just as a fun thing, because my friend had one too, and I like programmed it was a male so i programmed and like to talk to me or and then i had another female one who would also talk to me um i can change it to bloody mary now so that bloody mary can send me texts <laughs> <laughs> she'll be like and i can you can they learn kind of like your your whatever your vernacular is so it's like you know if i want bloody mary to be like hey bitch <laughs> that and uh yeah, Bloody Mary hits you up like, hey, girl, listen. Hey girl. <laughs> girl. Girl, are you busy? <laughs> and you can this bitch, you should see what this bitch tried to do to me today. Yeah. 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 What to do. I just want to hear, like, you know, what happens in Bloody Mary's life. And she'll tell yeah. me, like, oh, my God. These I've been kids. running around all fucking day. 17 oh. different people trying to get my attention. They all run off. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm just trying to think. Bloody Mary, I, I just want to read 
who is it based on? Is a legend consisting of a ghost, phantom, or spirit conjured to reveal the future? Okay, that's not what we did for. We just want to see. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Historically, the divination ritual encouraged young women to walk up to a flight of stairs backward. (gasps) Okay. When you were kids, did you do this? When you were coming up from uh from my basement my basement was unfinished and dank and like so dark none of the lights worked all the lights were always fucked so i would always walk up backwards so that i could see what's happening <laughs> i have my back to the <laughs> top of been any number of murderers and or div- like, div- like all spirit. they have to do is like stand at the top of the stairs with a knife and you're never gonna know you're gonna back I into know, it. like i got to <laughs> <laughs> just waiting <laughs> yeah, that's all they'd have to do you're gonna back right into it yeah. well that was easy um <laughs> <laughs> the fucking staples easy button <laughs> uh as they gaze into the mirror they were supposed to be able to catch a view of a future husband's face ew i don't like this already oh. what the hell <laughs> That's what we were supposed to be doing. That's what that is the basis of. We were supposed oh. to see her. And she's probably like, girl, I'm going to tell you who you're going to marry. And you keep running away. <laughs> I guess you don't want to know. His name's I Elon know. Musk. I don't know. What does that mean to I thought that it was like an evil thing. Yeah, so did I. Uh, I did too. Like she's like some now whimsical I feel like fortune teller. Like I've been yeah. trying to talk to her this whole time. Oh, wait. It gets good. It gets good. Oh, okay. <laughs> So the lore surrounding the ritual states that participants may endure the apparition screaming at them, cursing them, strangling them, stealing their soul, drinking their blood, or scratching their eyes out. Some variations of the ritual call Bloody Mary by a different name. Hell Mary or Mary Worth are popular examples. That doesn't make that what? So wait, so what is she is she gonna like show you your future husband and then scratch your eyes out? I think. She's like, he's really going to have to love you for you. Or here, I'm going to scratch your eyes out, and you're not going to know when you see him. That's what happened. So once you invoke her name 13 times, 13? 13 I thought it was three. I thought it was 13 times. You will either see the face of your future husband, or if you see a skull, that's indicating that you were going to die before you had the chance to marry. Oh, well, I I already know what's going to happen there. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> That's some sexist ass shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god. No, we saw her. We definitely saw her and we kept running away. So that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it explains so much. God damn it. How did we well, get this? So I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It, don't don't worry. Like this is, it it could be worse. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. That's just we, how I envisioned it. We go down lots of rabbit holes here, like all the time. This is what we do. I mean, I love it. I lo- I like the opportunity to to just free talk about. Like, I mean, I did one last week <clears throat> with Tanya. Mm-hmm. We played it in Kitty yeah. with, yeah. and she has her own podcast called 21st Century Rocker Mom. And we just sat and we chatted about like just like random shit. Although she had kind of things prepared beforehand and like asked me some questions, but we oh, yeah. never stuck to that script. It was just like <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't do scripts as you know from our past, yeah. <laughs> past podcasts. We've done, it's just, I, don't I know. mean, it, it, it. it unfolds organically which i kind of like excuse me I need to... you guys got all sorts of shit tonight you got bloody mary the history of bloody mary right. some south african lingo fucking the body farm in tennessee body. great yeah. album out now streaming everywhere i mean streaming i don't know what else you want very very important Psycho awesome album anybody that's watching definitely check it out get on it see if He's you can beat my it since it became available so if yeah. you're watching this and you normally watch this you've already heard us tell you how yeah. awesome it is yeah. so thank you so much I appreciate the time it. is now see if you can beat my all-time streaming record if you have not listened to it yet why aren't you paying attention to what we're telling you mm-hmm. 
Listen to the sound of my voice. I'm telling you. <laughs> what? Listen to it right now. Go to the mirror. Oh, <laughs> go to the mirror. Say Bloody Mary 13 times and she gives you simulacrum. <laughs> Her hand comes out of the mirror like, here. here Take you this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that would be, huh? Ah, that would be. There's ah, a that's a good video idea. That, I was just gonna say, maybe right? one of the videos could be centered around Bloody Mary, and she Ooh. ends up giving me the answer to something. She ungridlocks your gridlocked heart. <gasps> she has the key. Oh, she gives me the key through the mirror. Oh, Ooh. oh my god! Look at that. You I'm got okay. everything. That was some cinematography right there. Yeah, man. The things that happen on this show. I'm, 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 I'm flabbergasted. Hello, sweetheart. I know. Oh, sorry. It's okay. We'll give you mama back now. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Find a way. And he's like, you know, I'm just because he like, uses me as his radiator, obviously. So, mm -hmm. he's a skinny little boy. Are you my skinny baby? <laughs> oh, Serge. Well, let's let's do it again sometime. We'll figure it out. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much for um, having Oh, you look know. who just got free as we're ending the show. Yeah. <laughs> Finally free. And See you later. Have a good day. Out. You'll have but to watch the I really record. appreciate you playing it, uh, playing the record um, and the support you've given. It's really, really amazing because um, it is going to be very, very grassroots in a lot of ways. It's just hard to be one of the many thousands and millions and whatever voices uh, out there. And there's just so much great music. It's really, it's uh, really helpful that you're giving me a chance. That's all well and fine, but there's only one Fallon Bowman and God damn it, this record people is not, not one to be overlooked. I would say that's really good. It's very good. It's very good. Appreciate your time. Yes. Eddie. Appreciate your time. And Noah is uh, Noah's pimping your Twitch channel as well. Do you want to tell it what's your Twitch channel so everybody can find you over there? What are you doing, Sarge? <laughs> <laughs> there he oh, is. Baby. Hey, big guy. Oh, he's not feeling well today, guys. Um, oh. So, yes, my Twitch channel is uh, twitch.tv slash Fallon Bowman. I stream three times a week on Thursdays and Fridays at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. And then on, okay. <laughs> uh, Saturday at 11 a.m. Um, I won't be streaming at 11 a.m. this weekend though, because I'm going to be busy. But at any rate, yeah, that's uh, that's my schedule, and I play awesome. mostly RPG FPS games. And yeah, it's really super fun. We have a lot of fun there. So. Yeah. That awesome. Fun. That is fun. We'll do that. Listen to the album. Take care. Yes, absolutely. Thank you guys Thank for you joining so us tonight. Yes. Thank you for being here. I've got so many new things to watch now. Um, oh, and read. Yes, Andrew. absolutely. So thank you guys for joining us tonight. Um, Friday night, Easy Limbo Show, SLE Radio. We That's will right. see you guys then. Okay, That's sweet. Right. Well... Take care, I don't guys. think it, I thought it, that's different I said what I said and I meant it Or lamented, words given weight Without thought and a person, the way that I talk And the way that I ought to be able to pause And to say that the fault can be placed on my arms And this playful assault to disgrace in its arm Pray for the day they could wait for the calm You can't control the storm Only weather it, weather it it's Five weeks and five days of rain Sideways, or scorched earth Search for death or water Left with all the thorns, with the petals gone Set a 